Okay. Hi, this is Dan, and um, I wanted to make a video this week about, uh, actually, okay, before I start talking and get distracted, there is a fruit fly flying around the room, and unfortunately I can't get rid of it because they're this tiny and move this fast, and I can't, like, get it. So if there's a little speck flying around, or if I cut off and just kind of go mmm or something like that. I'm being distracted by the fly. The fly is probably really distracting to you too. I'm really sorry. I can't get rid of it, unfortunately. It is... <laughs> I guarantee it is bothering me as much as it's bothering you. Um, also, there's something in my eye. Um, like an eyelash or something. Jeez. This video is kind of a mess. This is my second time recording this. Anyway, hi, this is Dan. Um, I wanted to make a video this week about hosts because something kind of a big deal happened with our system this month. And at this point, I think I can officially say that our host has changed. Um, our host changed this month, and I've been waiting a few weeks to, like, officially say, like, yeah, that's, that's a, oh, that's official, because I wasn't sure if it was gonna last, but it has been lasting, so I'm gonna make this video about hosts. So who's our current host now, if our host has changed? That's me. Um... I don't want to say I'm a new host, because uh, in 2017 I was the host from August up to um, December. From November to December I was kind of co-hosting with Sterling, but yeah. And the host before me was Sterling, from who was hosting from November of this year, co-hosting with me for a few months, but solely was hosting from January of this year to August of this year. And Sterling was the one who started this channel. Sterling was the one who used to go by Zach. Um, so in our earlier videos, parts that are labeled with Zach, that's our old host. That's who was the host before me. And then I actually was the host before him briefly at one point. So, what is a host? <laughs> uh, if it evidently appears to be like a fluid role, is it, does that mean it's not like roles, like protector, caretaker, and things like that? And the answer to that is yes, it is not like those roles. Because alter roles like that are defined prim are defined by what the altar does for the system whether they protect the system those are protectors take care of the system their internal manifestation of their role is their role but the only thing that defines a host is if that altar is the one who is fronting more than anyone else in the system so that's the only thing that defines a host, and a host can be any type of altar. A host can be a protector, a host can be a persecutor, a host can be a caretaker, or an ANP. I think we talked about what those are in our definitions video, but that's what a host is, and the only thing that defines a host is if they're fronting more than anyone else. Sometimes systems can have what's called a co-host, where more than one altar is hosting. So when I said that Sterling and I were hosting together in November and December of last year, it means we were spending pretty much equal amounts of time in the body. And that amount of time that we were spending outside of the body was more than any other altars were spending. Um, we also were co-fronting a lot, things like that. 
co-conscious a lot. And we still are co-conscious a lot, but Sterling isn't out as much as I am. I'm out pretty much almost 24-7 these days. Um, and then Sterling has been out maybe like once a week for the past month, a little less than that. Um, so I wouldn't say that we're co-hosting right now. So that's what a host is. That's our current situation with hosting. But why, why do hosts change? Why do systems sometimes get new hosts or co-hosts? And that is just determined by, I mean, determined, that's not, <laughs> that's not a great word. Um, but there can be a few reasons. Um, life circumstances for the system changing can cause fronting patterns to change so that one alter is suddenly fronting more than anyone else. So, things like a sudden move to a new place, um, suddenly being thrown into a new situation, um, things like that, S like abruptly being, abruptly finding yourself in a more dangerous or less dangerous situation than you were in previously might cause who's fronting when and how much to change. Um, and in systems who have the communication skills to do so, can also consciously choose who should be the host um, in systems that are at that point in recovery where they can have a little more control over switches, um, have more control over amnesia, am yeah, I said that weird, amnesia, um, have more of a shared experience, have more communication, um, might have the ability to be like, I think, have like, might have the ability to have a group discussion about who is most capable to host, like, yeah, here's who's fronting the most right now, but maybe so-and-so would be better, and they might actually have the ability to make that a reality. Um, so those are, but mainly hosts change because of life circumstances changing. Um, I'm, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about why I'm hosting now, but basically Sterling was just under a lot of stress and got to a point where, like, he couldn't live in that anymore. So the host switched to someone who was completely detached from the sources of his stress um, and just... I haven't fronted very much over the past year. I haven't fronted at all. I've fronted like maybe two or three times since 2018 started. Um, so everything that Sterling was stressed about, I don't know really anything about it, so I can't really be stressed about the stuff he was stressed about because I don't even know what it is. Um, of course, that doesn't mean that passive influence doesn't happen and I do still get stressed. I'm just detached from it. It doesn't affect me as much. And if the stress gets really bad, then it's not me anymore. And I switch and someone who is more connected to the stress will front. So at this point, I'm a more capable host than Sterling was. And back when Sterling became the host, uh, a lot of stuff, it was very similar. I was very stressed, um, but mainly I was making a lot of mistakes that were, that I wasn't aware that was hurting my own system, but, um, Sterling kind of took the role of host because someone had to be aware of how the system was hurting, and I just was not. I was completely numb to the pain of my own system that I was causing unknowingly. So those are some of the reasons, th those, are, those are the reasons for our most recent host changes and just some examples of why hosts can change. Um, throughout high school, our host 
situation changed a lot because we found ourselves rapidly in situations of high pressure in school, low pressure in school, high levels of abuse, low levels of abuse, often at different times, like high pressure in school, low levels of abuse, low pressure in school, high levels of abuse. So our host situation changed rapidly to match that. <laughs> um, we found ourselves like suddenly with like suddenly our crowd changing and like having things just wildly high school's a very rocky time so um but some systems might just have one host throughout the entirety of their life it's not likely because usually systems have a different host during their childhood and then we'll have a host from late childhood to the rest of their life. So most systems have two hosts in their life. Um, so that's how that goes. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I need to cover with this. Um, if there's anything that I didn't cover as well or any questions that anyone has go ahead and ask and I'll respond to comments on this one um but yeah I, I think I covered pretty much all the basics about hosting and why hosts can change and um oh I should I don't think I went over it all why co-hosting can happen. So like, why would two hosts happen? Why would there be two alters hosting at once? Um, and that, that's actually pretty easy to explain. That's basically like, if you've got two situations going on at once, so it's like, you might have an alter who's fronting more at school or work. And then when you get home, it's, the co-host who's fronting more at home. So that divide, that would be a co-host or maybe just two alters are really close and really good at similar stuff. So they're co-fronting most of the time. Um, stuff like that can be why two alters are hosting at once. Um, now I think I've covered everything that's really important. But if there's anything that I kind of skimmed over or anything that um, I didn't talk about at all that's relating to this topic, um, you can go ahead and comment your questions. I will answer, th I will respond to these comments and answer them. Um, for any questions on my alter intros, I'm not answering those because those are going to be answered in the video. Um, and there's going to be the next alter intro posted next week. Hopefully it was supposed to be posted this week, but the video file got corrupted, so I have to re-record it. So hopefully I can get that to happen this week. If I can't, I will make another informational video. So yeah, that's, that's everything I have to say. So goodbye.